Greetings and welcome to the 2020 SKU Showcase. I'm Kirsten Ross, Executive Director of SKU, coming to you kind of live from Austin, Texas in our first ever virtual showcase in our eight track history. Normally, I'd be on stage with you and 500 of our nearest and dearest CPG friends ready to bring the founders on stage. And you would all now just be settling in with a drink in your hand. And the drink would be an amazing local brand. And you would have already sampled and demoed all of the products that were about to be presented to you. But alas, COVID-19 has changed so many people's plans. And SKU is no exception. That said, we're lucky enough to live in a world of startups. And our founders, mentors, and our team here at SKU have come together to bring you this very special virtual presentation. We invite you to sit back, Turn on your computer speaker, grab your favorite beverage or snack, and be inspired by the pitches and the stories of our seven SKU Track 8 companies. But before we get to the showcase presentation, I want to introduce you to one of Austin's special gems and one of the top female entrepreneurs in the country and someone I call a friend. And a founder who knows just a little something about creating an amazing product and building an absolutely incredible brand, Kendra Scott. Thanks, Kristen. It is such a pleasure to be with you today, although we're all in our separate homes. Congratulations to all the startup founders who are participating in today's showcase. Wow, this is an exciting step forward in your journey as an entrepreneur, and I know one that you're all very proud of. From one entrepreneur to another, I promise you this, it is just the beginning. 18 years ago, I had a dream of the life I wanted to build for myself. And it wasn't to build a nationwide brand or a billion dollar business, that's for sure. I was a new mom at the time, and I simply wanted to build a jewelry company with my own designs and ideas that allowed me to put my family first and also let me give back to the community around me. If you had asked me 18 years ago, I could have never imagined that dream would lead me to where I am today. Today, I'm the CEO of a billion dollar business, and each day it grows bigger Every morning, it is bigger than it was the night before. My journey to this place of success was not the most traditional. It was not a smooth road. There have been so many bumps and unexpected turns, a failed business, a nationwide recession, countless people who told me no, countless times I thought how easy it would be just to give up. But I'm a firm believer that success does not always look the way you expect it to. In fact, it rarely does. We all have a dream for what we want our lives to look like, and it is the mark of a great entrepreneur if you're willing to take a risk and sit on that path to chase after your dreams. Now let's talk about that path. If there's one thing I know for sure about being an entrepreneur, it's that you will face roadblocks, and yes, at some point, you're gonna fail. But I've also learned that it's the struggle that makes you stronger. Today, in honor of SKU Showcase Day, and so many of you who are getting ready to take that next exciting step in your business, I'm gonna share a few lessons that have helped me along the path to success. First, overcoming failure. I poured my heart into my first business venture. It was a hat shop. I started when I was just 19 and it didn't work out. Five years after I opened it, I was forced to close its doors and it crushed me. But at a certain point I realized I've got to change my attitude around this experience. And I began to think, what if I look at this as a learning experience instead of a failure? Looking back now, that failure was a gift. We don't hit a home run the first time we get up to bat takes a lot of practice. And I can tell you, every lesson I learned from that little failed hat shop, those lessons, they helped me build Kendra Scott. I've also learned the importance of asking for help. Success is not something you can achieve alone. There are so many people that have mentored me and counseled me along the way, and they still do today. They've had an impact on me and my business. At the same time, it takes a balance of humility and resilience to be a successful entrepreneur. Learning when to believe in your vision and when to admit that you don't know it all. When I started Kendra Scott, so many people told me that I needed to move to New York or LA to be a successful fashion brand. 
I've heard so many no's. And when you're young and at the very beginning of something ambitious, it's hard to say, hey, thanks, but you know, I've got a vision, I'm gonna do it my way. But I chose to trust my gut and plant our roots in Austin, Texas. 18 years later, I know that decision was not only the right move for me, but it set our business apart and it made us stronger because of it. Last, I wanna to talk to you about the importance of the entrepreneurial mindset. I believe that entrepreneurs see the world differently and can learn to see opportunities and challenges in a very unique way. To me, that mindset is all about being letting go of the no's, letting things bounce off of you, putting obstacles in perspective as a problem that needs to be solved, not a reason to give up. I believe once you start building that skill, you begin to see more opportunities, more strategic pathways around a challenge. This mindset will take you so far in your way in your business, but also in your life. Today, I wanna to celebrate all of you entrepreneurs, the leaders of our world's next great businesses. This role you're taking on is no easy task, but I have one last word of advice that I hope will help each of you when you rise to the challenge. When you work hard, when you lead with passion, treat others with kindness, anything is possible. Thank you and best of luck. Thank you, Kendra. Is she not inspiring or what? I think I'm gonna go do some jewelry shopping after we wrap this show. But before we get started with the pitches, I know we have eyes watching from all over the world and that not everyone is familiar with SKU in our program. SKU is a consumer packaged goods accelerator based here in Austin, Texas. We started as a small group of mentors who wanted to help CPG startups. And now, eight cohorts later, we're operating in three different cities. SKU educates and equips emerging entrepreneurs with the tools, resources, and frankly, the network that is necessary to turn them into world-class brands and household names. Some of our alumni you may recognize as Epic Bar, Siete Tortillas, and Austin Eastsiders. 2020 is our eighth cohort of companies, a group of seven promising brands and talented founders that were handpicked from over 150 applicants. We pair each company with a curated group of mentors to guide them throughout 14 weeks of programming. SKU hosts classes on topics like branding, packaging, raising capital, and so much more. And at the end of the program, we're ready to present them to the world in a showcase day, encouraging a connection to the broad CPG community here in Austin and beyond. With all that being said, let's get on to the showcase. Here's how it's gonna work. You'll get to meet the founders up close and personal as they share a bit about themselves with some behind the scenes footage. And then one of the SKU mentors that has been advising them, this particular team, is going to tell you a bit about each startup and the market opportunity in front of them. After a mentor makes their introduction, the founder will give their pitch and repeat, we've got seven companies. We'll have a short break in the middle to hear a word from our sponsor and my partner in crime, Michelle Breyer, SKU COO. And then we'll wrap it up with a shout out to the special folks in the CPG community. All right, let's get the show on the road. First up is Sarah and Nicole from Ladybird Provisions. They're making it easy on all of us to add that extra boost to our morning cup of coffee, improving our mind and strengthening our immune system. We've got to thank you for that. Hi, I'm Nicole Panetto, co-founder at Ladybird Provisions. This is my awesome son, Cy. He's the motivation for why I got into nutrition and as a single parent, why also I try to make everything as healthy and as convenient as possible. Hi, y'all. Well, this really sums up my life when I'm not doing Ladybird. This is Teddy and this is Ford, and I do what I do for them so that hopefully one day they will be proud. John, my husband, is behind the camera, and without his love and support, I wouldn't be where I am. Hi, I'm Trish Wesovich, and what I want you to know is that a few years back, two women, complete strangers, one a registered dietitian and one a drugless practitioner, had a coincidental meeting at their favorite local pharmacy. In that chance meeting, they discovered their combined passion for optimal nutrition and recognized a gap in the marketplace for such products. They didn't waste any time. They formed a partnership, immediately began their R&D, and started producing the first coffee bomb product to take to market. Over time, their partnership has strengthened, and to ensure continued growth in this current environment, they have developed and are rolling out new shelf-stable dry bombs. 
are building a new online platform in which to showcase them and are looking forward to the future of their continued partnership and collaboration. So with that, may I present Sarah and Nicole of Lady Bird Provisions. When I was 17 years old, my dad passed away from complications related to his diabetes, which in his case was a totally diet-related and preventable disease. That was a time in my life where I decided that I wanted to help people feel better in a convenient way through nutrition. You see, my dad knew that what he was doing wasn't good for him, but he didn't have the time or the know-how to make the necessary lifestyle changes that could have saved his life. Nicole, my partner, has a similar story about her son, but in her case, nutrition helped save his life. Hi, my name is Sarah Rio. I'm a registered dietitian and I'm the co-founder of Lady Bird Provisions. Three and a half years ago, Nicole and I found ourselves helping people feel better one bomb at a time, which is ultimately what brought us here today. People are sick and tired of being sick and tired. They want to look better, they want to feel better, and they want to have a better diet, but they don't necessarily know what it takes to get there. That's where we come in. Lady Bird is at the intersection of functionality and convenience. Our products are specifically designed to help consumers feel better without having to put in much time, energy, or effort. You see, we found that oftentimes when people try to better themselves, they either skimp out on nutrition by going the convenient route, or they create a headache for themselves by trying to do something that doesn't fit into their normal habits. Our first product, Butter Coffee Bombs, are the easiest way to add healthy fats and proteins to the diet. Made with organic coconut oil, grass-fed butter, and collagen protein, each flavor is intentionally crafted to provide different benefits to the body and mind. And did I mention that they're delicious and that they're so easy to use? Simply drop a bomb in hot coffee, milk, or tea, blend, and enjoy. A delicious and functional beverage is ready in just seconds. To date, over one and a half million bombs have been dropped in beverage helping people feel better, which is something that we think is pretty darn cool. We are literally dropping function into beverage. Out of our one and a half million bombers, 78% of them are women between the ages of 25 and 44. They're well educated on health trends and they're seeking easy improvements to fit into their normal habits. They want to lose weight, they want better looking skin, they care about their brain health, and they certainly want to boost their immunity. But one thing they're not worried about anymore is fat. Women know that adding back healthy fats to the diet can actually help with their nutrition related goals. We're in a unique position because there's nothing on the market quite like coffee bombs. With a simple drop of a bomb, we're helping consumers feel better with our healthy combination of fats and our unique collagen protein blend that's specific for joint health, hair, skin, and nails. This is something that our competitors just aren't doing in such a clean, delicious, and convenient way. We are thrilled to be in the $3 billion functional beverage market and are eager to continue to grow and expand our brand. There's tremendous opportunity for growth here and we plan to capitalize on that growth with our unique products and our future product innovation. The category itself has seen just over 8% growth, which is good, but it's a number we knew we had to beat. And thus far we have, by a multiple of 20. A six pack of coffee bombs retails for $9.99 and can be found in the refrigerated functional beverage set or in dairy, depending on the store. Our three SKUs are in 200 doors um, and we have a 45% margin and that's doing it all by hand. We're completely self-funded and we've been profitable since 2017. We're currently stocked in four different distributors and can be found in six states, from California to Illinois, and of course, right here in Texas. Lady Bird launched in July of 2016 in local farmers markets and coffee shops. This was our way to gauge consumer interest and see if we had a product that people would actually buy. At the end of 2017, we got into 20 HEBs, which was our segue into retail, and we've been growing steadily ever since. Our future projections are a huge pivot from our original focus, which was strictly to grow retail. Right now, we're actively developing a new online platform and rolling out new shelf-stable products to ensure continued growth during these uncertain times. Moving forward, we plan to continue to grow our retail distribution by getting into more doors, while simultaneously continuing to grow our online sales channel as well. Our product strategy is to become the bomb of beverage, and we're going to do that three different ways. First is with our hot beverage bomb, which we've already sold a million and a half of. Second is with our Dry Bomb, which is a shelf-stable, Amazon-ready, dairy-free collagen creamer that tastes amazing and is perfect for our on-the-go consumer. And third is our Water Bomb, which is an electrolyte replacement with clean added functionalities that we know our consumers are asking for. We're turning ordinary extraordinary by dropping function into your beverage of choice. Our goal is to raise $750,000 to help Lady Bird become extraordinary. With these funds, we plan to hire key talent who can help us grow our retail and online sales channels. 
We also know how important it is to get our brand out there and product in people's hands, which is why the biggest portion of funds is gonna go for sales and marketing. You've just heard what we've done with a tiny bit of money and a whole lot of passion. Imagine what we could do with real money and strategic partners who could help Lady Bird soar. Thank you so much for your time and I'd love to hear from you soon. Next, we have a real Texas man, Dustin Gersh from Papao Foods. He solved his own dietary dilemmas by creating some amazing spices and seasonings for his own food consumption. Now he's on a rocket ship, bringing this clean and clear solution directly to you. This is why I get up every morning and go to the office. For this little dude. Welcome to Giddings, Texas, home of Papao Foods. I am a third generation entrepreneur on this property. My grandfather and my father before me were in the heating and air conditioning business. Papao Foods has allowed me to come back home to my community of 5,000 people and employ people locally and support our local economy. Hi, my name is Rob Ziegler. I've helped CPG companies earn billions of dollars in new revenue through brand experience innovation. I'm proud to introduce you to Dustin Gersh, founder of Papao Foods and producer of Paleo Powder. He's developed products which really consider the experience of people like you and me, who pay attention to what we eat and who don't want to compromise on flavor or convenience. You know he's doing something right when the country's biggest retailers reach out to him to bring new products to them. As an advisor, I really appreciated getting to know Dustin. He's most at home addressing the complexity of CPG operations. He's deliberate in his decisions. He's not afraid to challenge or be challenged to find the best way forward. And when he finds that, he acts on it. These to me are the hallmarks of a good entrepreneur, especially the action part. Maybe the thing I like best about Dustin as a person is he's a fifth generation Texan who tells it like it is. I hope you'll get to know him and Papal as I do. Howdy, my name is Dustin Gersh and I'm the founder of Papal Foods, the creator of Paleo Powder. And we are transforming lives through flavor. Just like any good entrepreneur, my story starts with my transformation. At age 28, I weighed over 315 pounds and wore a size 50 pants. I knew that I needed to change, not just physically, but both emotionally and mentally. I had my annual physical that year. The doctor turned to, told me that I needed to change for my life, either lifestyle and diet. By following those two simple processes, I was able to lose over 50 pounds and have kept it off for almost a decade. Going through my transformation, I got bored with my food. So I'd go to the grocery store to see what I could do to spice it up, and most of the seasonings on the shelf either had sugar, gluten, or MSG on them, in them. So that's why I created my first bottle of seasoning. Along my journey, I met so many people that had similar stories to mine, except they were slightly different. It wasn't about losing weight or looking better naked. It was about eating to feel better and function. And this isn't a small group of people. It's one out of three Americans that need to avoid certain ingredients or certain foods to live a happy, healthy lifestyle. The problem is, most people don't know where to start, so they go straight to chicken and broccoli, and the flavor is boring and bland. The solution is Papal products. Our breadings and our seasonings are sugar-free, gluten-free, and junk-free. Our seasonings is where it started, just like for my journey, and we were able to create this for diet and all purpose. And I know what you're gonna say, aren't all seasonings paleo? And the answer is no. Most seasoning blends on the shelf have sugar, gluten, or MSG in them. And then the twist that we take that's a different approach than our competition is we focus on the consumers, that one out of three Americans that need to avoid certain ingredients in their diet to live a happy, healthy life. And as you can see from our followers on social media, these pictures are beautiful, flavorful, and they just want to share them with the world. Because we knew where the market was going and where the white space was, we decided to shake things up. We launched our breadless breading at the end of 2019, and our breadless breadings are grain-free, gluten-free, and sugar-free. And the blue bag on the end actually won a Nexty Award for Best New Allergen-Free Product. And as you can see from posts from our social media followers, this food is crispy, crunchy, and full of flavor that they were used to without jeopardizing their new diet or lifestyle. We're currently positioned in a $2 billion market, and we're taking a two-pronged approach at this to attack it to achieve our goals. Our first focus for the past two and a half years has been retail, brick and mortar. And over that time period, we've grown from 300 stores to over 2,800 stores nationally. We're distributed by the largest uh, distributors in the country. We're in the largest conventional channel in the country and about to launch in 1,900 Walmarts with our new breadless breadings come August. We're also in the largest natural channels and we're also distributed online through Amazon and Thrive. 
Our second prong approach, which is really going to get us to our growth and continue, is e-commerce. We're focusing on our e-commerce to not just drive awareness in, in, in revenue, but we're also here to drive awareness and velocity in stores. We feel like this two-punch approach will allow us to get to our goals by the end of 2022. There's competition out there, and what definitely sets us apart is most competition wants to focus on one, maybe two lifestyles, and we cover the four major lifestyles that everybody's following right now and going towards the future to live a happy, healthier life which serves that one out of three Americans that don't have an option on the shelf right now. Over the next couple months, we're gonna have a fund raised for about $500,000, and we're gonna use that for inventory, we're gonna use that for e-commerce to drive awareness, R&D to take us from a $2 billion market to a $27 billion market, and of course focus on branding to make sure that we are true to our core and focusing on that one out of three Americans, but doing it in a broad approach and not staying focused or narrow-minded. My name is Dustin Gersh. I'm the founder of Papal Foods, and through our seasonings and our breadless breadings, we are transforming lives through flavor. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Jeff Jacobs, and I was a mentor for Track 8, and I'm with EPAC Flexible Packaging, a longtime supporter of SKU, the top CPG accelerator in the country. EPAC was founded in 2016 with a mission to serve small and medium-sized businesses, like those in the SKU program. In fact, we've created packaging for a number of the companies that have gone through and participated in SKU. EPAC is an all-digital printer and converter built to provide our customers with a fast and easy way to buy custom flexible packaging. Our process saves our customers time by delivering our pouches in 10 to 15 days compared to 6 to 8 weeks like most of our competitors. We save our customers money by offering low minimum orders and no plate fees. And we're helping to save the environment through an eco-friendly process and materials. We are honored to be part of the SKU family and want to congratulate the founders of Track 8. We wish you continued success as you continue your journey. Next is Ora Bora. Paul Vogie absolutely caught my eye with his packaging of his product and blew me away with the flavors. I'm still wondering why I ever settled for lemon and lime. Hello from California. It's been more than 60 days since the shelter in place order took effect. And it's a really wild time to build a consumer brand. Uh, we took this opportunity to work with some talented friends and unveil a new e-commerce site. We've been fulfilling orders as quick as we can. And we've also just been taking this time to reflect on how excited we are to be working together to build this brand. It's been a dream of ours for years now to build something from the ground up together and Ora Bora is finally in the world and growing and we couldn't be more excited about it. Agreed. Welcome to Showcase Day. My name is Clayton Christopher and I'm here to introduce you to Paul Vogie, the founder and CEO of Aurora Bora. I've gotten to know Paul over this past virtual semester at SKU and it's been a real pleasure. I found Paul to have high integrity, to be a quick study, high IQ, and very passionate. I love the category that he's playing in. It's big, it's growing quickly, and it shows no sign of slowing. I also like the, the position that Aurora Bora is in. There's, there's no flavors out there um, like what they have very unique. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Vogie and Aurora Bora. Cheers. Hello, my name is Paul Vogie. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Aurora Bora. For a lot of you, sparkling water is a commodity. We exist to elevate the sparkling water experience. We make craft sparkling water made with real herbs. My wife Maddie and I drink a lot of sparkling water. I was drinking 10 to 12 cans per day at my last job, and frankly, uninspired by the flavors. We started tinkering at home with herbal extracts and natural fruit flavors to create a more delicious, natural, refreshing beverage. And after three months, we found it. We debuted at a trade show last fall and started selling our first run of 30,000 cans in January. There are a few reasons Ourobora has been successful and will continue to succeed. The first is the demand for low calorie, or in our case, no calorie beverages. The second is the mainstream adoption of herbs. And finally, a growing trend of artisan consumer goods. Consumers expect tastes and flavors tailor-made to their palates. Sparkling water is a huge category, and it's growing each year. 2019, there were $3.2 billion of sales, which was an 11% increase in the previous year in the 11th straight year of double-digit growth. With such a huge category, as you can imagine, it's very crowded. Here are some examples of firms that succeeded in their own crowded category. Sam Adams of beer, Jenny's of ice cream, Justin's of peanut butter and kettle of potato chips, each succeeded with natural ingredients, unique flavors, and a modern design aesthetic. 
Aura Bora will do the same for sparkling water. Finally, here are our products. Our cans are fun, colorful, whimsical, and eye-grabbing. This can sells the product the first time, and our amazing flavors sell it each time thereafter. Speaking of flavors, lemongrass coconut for any Thai food fans in the room. Peppermint watermelon, this is a fast-selling flavor on hot days. Lavender cucumber, this is currently our most popular skew. Cactus rose, if you've ever had a prickly pear margarita. And finally, basil berry. Our suggested retail price is $2.29, and for each of those flavors, the first word is an herbal extract, and the second is a natural fruit flavor. We sell to our distributors for $1.15. This currently gives us a gross margin of 40%, which is pretty good, but it's only getting better. Later this summer, we'll be above 50%, and by the fall, we're going to start ordering cans by the truckload, which will push our gross margin into the 70s. I lead Ourobora full-time. I used to work as an investment associate at a venture capital firm. My wife works in branding and copywriting at a software company here in San Francisco. Although it is our first foray into beverages, it's not for a lot of our advisors. They've lent wisdom and guidance along the way, and they'll continue to help us moving forward. Even though we started in January, Ourobora is off to a great start. Our velocities are currently 50 cans per week per store in more than 63 retailers, and we've done $67,000 in sales year to date. However, we expect to severely dwarf those numbers by the end of 2020. We'll be doing 80 cans per week per store in more than 700 retailers and collect $500,000 in projected revenue this year. The reason for such huge growth are we've had a few early wins. First, we were selected for Kehi's Elevate program. Kehi is the largest distributor in the country, and this Elevate program gives them a chance to handpick brands to expand in their distribution network. Second, we'll be on Thrive Market. Thrive is almost a million subscribers ordering natural foods delivered to their door, and will be the first sparkling water on their platform. And finally, we already started making inroads with some huge retailers. We'll debut at Whole Foods in the Rocky Mountain region this July. With all of this growth and all of the new retailers we're looking to expand to, we need money to fund the business. We're seeking $500,000 in the form of a safe note. We'll use these funds to expand our manufacturing, expand our team, and increase Ouroboros' footprint in the natural space. We want to lower our cost of goods to increase our margin and debut into case packs by the end of the year. But we need your help. If you're interested in investing with your expertise or your dollars, here's my email. Thanks for your time. Next is Blenders and Bowls. Kara and Aaron have created a cult following with their acai bowl. Not only is it everyone's go-to after yoga treat in Austin, it's probably one of the top breakfast items to be delivered. Now they're simplifying it. You can pick it up in a freezer near you. These are some fun facts about Aaron and I. We've been to over 500 concerts together. Probably more. Probably. Our dogs are litter mates. We've lived together as roommates for five years. We've been business partners for 10 years. Our kids are two months apart, so cute. We both love wine. We do. Uh, we played soccer and ran track and field together in high school. And this is the second business we are starting together. Hi, I'm Jeff Pinsker. I'm the CEO of Amigo Games, and this is my fifth track as a SKU mentor. I also mentor through three other organizations. SKU Aid has a tremendous array of products and entrepreneurs, but I'll admit that I begged to be on the Blenders and Bowls team. There were two things that attracted me. The first is the fact that their products are based on 10 years worth of market research from their existing stores. And secondly, the opportunity to launch those products in grocery with the help of their store's built-in customer base, or should I say fan base. But as I worked with this team, I came to realize that I had overlooked the two most important assets the company has to offer, and that's the founders, Kara and Aaron. From my experience, most investors invest in people just as much as they invest in products or ideas. Kara and Aaron have put together a great product offering at the same time that they've retooled their retail business to thrive during lockdowns, taken good care of their staff, and found ways to give back to the community. I'm betting on blenders and bowls, and I believe that after you watch this presentation, you will be too. Hi, my name is Aaron. My best friend Kara and I opened a food truck selling acai bowls and smoothie bowls. We now have five brick and mortar locations in Austin, Texas, and we have sold over one million bowls to date. We are taking everything we know about the smoothie bowl business and are launching a CPG brand so people can enjoy the best product line we have ever created, smoothie bowls at home. Smoothie bowls are extremely popular because they are healthy, refreshing, and they are so delicious. 
the current pandemic accelerated the trend of what was gaining a lot of traction, buying frozen, especially healthy frozen. New habits are being formed and the reports are now saying this market is going to be explosive for years to come. And most importantly, people are trying new brands. The problem is blending is messy. It takes time and you need a lot of ingredients stocked in your freezer. Trust me, we know better than anyone that making smoothie bowls is a lot of work. People just don't have time to make bowls at home. We launched pre-blended smoothie bowl kits with our new scoopable formula so people can enjoy bowls at home. We are getting real-time feedback from our current customers on how much they value convenience and how delicious these bowls are. We have created a new way to eat smoothie bowls. Our product is ready to eat out of the freezer. The three SKUs we are launching with have been tried and tested by thousands and thousands of people. They've been the top sellers at our stores for years. We are launching with a classic acai bowl, a peanut butter acai bowl packed with 10 grams of plant-based protein, and a tropical smoothie bowl that is so refreshing and delicious. We know our product fits into a lot of markets. We know that our current customer base is giving us the clear insights into our target demographic, and it's one that fits perfectly with grocery store shoppers. Our product fits into a lot of markets. We are a natural fit for breakfast because the product is fruit and granola. We also know that smoothie bowls are enjoyed throughout the day as an anytime snack. 94% of Americans snack. Smoothie bowls are known to be the perfect snack because they provide clean energy and are super satisfying. We are entering an emerging category. These larger brands like Dole and Sambazon are doing the legwork to educate and make shelf space for this hot new product. Hey, thanks guys. This is teeing us up perfectly to enter the market with a better product. We love that this market is on fire right now, but bags of frozen fruit are taking the back seat because there's too much prep involved. People are seeking convenience over having to use a blender at all. We have been in the smoothie bowl business for almost 10 years. We know what our customers want better than anyone. We know what flavors they like, we know where they shop, and we know what they want in their freezer at home. We created a product that eliminates the messy blender situation, has no thaw time, and does not require a microwave like most of our competitors. Our strategy is to distribute in Texas first. We are going to own our hometown. We are going to use the thousands of customers that Blenders and Bowls has to help propel this brand from the start. This home field advantage is going to supplement our marketing efforts with direct outreach from our stores. We are leveraging our current supply chain and we were able to lock in fruit prices that provide us huge savings from the start. And when we scale and hit phase two, we're gonna see an additional 15% savings across the board. Kara and I are a successful team. We know how to run a business. People call us the dynamic duo. We've been making extremely quick pivots to launch the first iteration of our CPG formula and it has been a huge hit. Our industry knowledge combined with storefronts to test products, now that's a recipe for success. We need to get these products to market. We need to throw fuel on our existing fire and launch our sister company into success. The investment opportunity is for our CPG company. We are raising $1.5 million to give us the capital we need to launch these products. Thank you so much for your time. We look forward to hearing from you. The thing that makes SKU so incredibly unique is our mentors. They truly are the special sauce of the program. We are very selective about who we choose as mentors. We look for people not just with a CPG experience, but also with a true passion and a desire to help these founders realize their potential. SKU mentors are a who's who in CPG. They include serial entrepreneurs, and executives at some of the most successful companies, places like Deep Eddy Vodka, Rhythm Superfoods, and Vital Farms. And they're there to guide these founders through SKU's program. It is not easy. It's an intense 14-week program that requires 
a lot of hard work and a willingness to evolve. And that can be painful. At times, these mentors are teachers. At other times, and a lot of the time, they're counselors. And at their heart, they're really connectors, using their networks to, to help these founders in any way they can. I started my own business. And even in the best of times, it can be so challenging. But with COVID turning everyone's world upside down, we are so incredibly grateful that our SKU founders can lean on these shoulders of these incredibly seasoned CPG veterans. They have helped them not only weather this pandemic storm, but they have found ways to thrive. One of the things we are most proud of is that our founders embrace this help and they use the sage advice not only to build their business strategies, but also to become better leaders. I'm confident that you will see a little bit of our mentors in all of these presentations today. Next is Esker. Shannon Davenport has created an absolutely luxurious beauty line. And I'm not the only one that thinks that. Giselle, Vogue, Goop, everyone's on board with it. One of my favorite things about Shannon is she completed this program while pregnant and just gave birth to a little baby girl. Congratulations, Shannon. Say hi. Hi. Esker is definitely my company, but I feel like one of the kind of invisible forces that we have working in our favor is um, everything that Greg has to offer, which is all the creative, everything from, you know, the logo design to the packaging. He's a machine and he cranks it out and I don't have to pay him. <laughs> It's really a pleasure to work on Esker. Um, I'm proud of what Shannon's accomplished so far. And, uh, you know, it's great because it's a family business. For the last 15 years, I've been working with founders in the beauty space, and every single one of them is very special. Some even for good reason. Shannon Davenport, the founder of Esker Beauty, is wonderful for all of the right reasons. She's so special because she can see the future. During her time as a trend forecaster and with her experience as a traveling executive, she gave life to Esker Beauty. Esker is fresh, new, luxurious body care products and innovative tools. That's right, innovative in a stale space. Innovative tools paired together to create a wonderful brand that brings sanctuary to those moments of body care for women. Take a moment to enjoy this chance to learn more about Shannon and Esker Beauty you'll enjoy it. At Esker, we believe in creating at-home sanctuaries. My name is Shannon Davenport, and as I was traveling around the world during my career as a trend forecaster, I knew no matter how tired or stressed I was that I could always look forward to a nice warm bath at the end of the day. More than ever, my bathroom has now really become my sanctuary and I found a way to turn what was a mundane routine into a meaningful ritual. So I created Esker as a way to share these rituals with other women. Beauty consumers have so many options and upgrades available to their face, so it really didn't make sense to me that we were using these outdated products on the rest of our bodies, especially when we're indulging in this nice, soothing, calming bath or shower. Our skin is actually the largest organ in our body and 90% of it is from the neck down. But again, current body care products that are out there have cheap fillers, artificial fragrances, and preservatives in them. So the clean beauty revolution is definitely already here and we need to be thinking about the full beauty regimen and the full body. We want to elevate this category with thoughtful formulations and exciting ingredients. So instead of greasy fillers, we're using premium natural botanicals that sink right into the skin. We want to be a brand with inclusivity at its core. We want to be for women of all ages, shapes, and sizes. And sustainability is baked into everything that we do from our packaging all the way to the way that we give back to the environment. There is a huge opportunity here to elevate the body care category with clean, luxurious products. There's a $141 billion non-facial beauty market in the U.S. alone, and we're addressing the quickest growing portion of that, which is $55 billion, and that's premium and naturals. So we've created a mindful at-home practice. It's a multi-step process with tools and products that can be customized with our three distinct lines, firming, restorative, and clarifying. We currently have about 20 SKUs across body washes and soaps, 
body oils and body tools, and our average margins range from about 75% to 85%. We also have a body type quiz that we host on our site. It's a great way for us to engage current and prospective customers, increase conversions and cart size, and essentially what we're doing is using content to educate our consumer around how to build their ritual. Once they have learned that, then they come back to us time and time again to replenish their body care products. Absolutely one of the most rewarding things about having this brand for me personally is that our customers tell us that Esker makes them feel amazing. So not only do they say that it makes them feel good emotionally and their skin feel great, but they want to gift it to their friends and family. So thanks to this emotional connection, we've cultivated a really loyal customer base with about an average order value of over $90. So we are focused exclusively on non-facial products and tools in the premium natural space, and we see this as a very valuable white space within the beauty industry. We've been building a lot of buzz. Editors have been super supportive of the brand. The Zoe Report called us one of nine new luxury beauty brands on their way to icon status. And last year, not one, but two of our products won Self Magazine's Healthy Beauty Awards. We're also very proud to call influential women like Eva Chen, Hilary Duff, Adriana Lima, and Eva Longoria among our real shoppers and fans of the brand. Our wholesale business has absolutely propelled our credibility and given us exposure through stores like Nordstrom, Anthropology, Goop, and net a -Porte. But this year we're really focusing our efforts on growing our D2C business. This is absolutely where we see the most opportunity. Our sales to date are already over $63,000. Our online sales are up over 400% year on year. And at this run rate, we're projected to hit over 300,000 this year. We are also rapidly expanding our audience. This is fueled mostly by organic growth, press and partnerships, and supported by very lean paid marketing. We also have a solid roadmap plan for 2020. This will give us many opportunities to increase revenue and also launch brand awareness and marketing campaigns. So we're looking for a seed round later this year. This is primarily to help us scale our marketing efforts, build our team, and fuel an already strong product pipeline. We're building Esker into a $10 million business over the next five years with $3 million in operating profit by becoming the premier destination for clean body care. With this growth and capital, we'll be able to give women around the world the tools to care for them, their body and carve out these crucial moments of calm. Again, I'm Shannon Davenport. I'm the founder of Esker. Thank you for your attention. Next up, is a true gem, Alex Dorr from Mushroom Revival. Though his young age, he's one of the leading experts in medicinal mushrooms and has created a purity and effectiveness in his products like I haven't seen. Don't we all love the shroom boom that's upon us? We got the car packed up. We, when you see this video, we will be driving on our way to Austin, Texas and join the Austin family. We will be officially Austinites and continue to explode Mushroom Revival. We're so excited to come to a place with no winter and always sunny skies. Um, so much love. Health and wellness have always been at the forefront of the consumer product space. People are willing to pay more for better for you products. That can be physical health, mental health, mental clarity, focus, or even boosting your immune system. That is why I'm so excited to introduce you to Alex Dorr. Alex has been researching and studying medicinal mushrooms for over seven years. He has written several books on the topic. His research started when he was trying to solve for his own chronic illness. And I get, as investors, we are typically afraid to invest in trends or fads or what we might deem trends and fads. I mean, who would have thought that a gluten-free Tex-Mex company would be on its way to a billion dollar brand? But medicinal mushrooms are not a trend and they're not a fad. They've been around for thousands of years. We just currently don't use them in our current lives. That is why I'm so excited to introduce you to Alex and what he is creating with Mushroom Revival. Hi everyone, my name is Alex Dorr and I'm the founder and CEO of Mushroom Revival. Mushrooms have radically changed my life forever. I'm not talking about magic mushrooms, I'm not talking about slimy ones that you put on your pizza. 
I'm talking about functional mushrooms for health and wellness. My journey started when I got diagnosed with Lyme disease. I was zapped of energy, I was stuck in bed, brain fog, painful joints, and I tried everything until I found functional mushrooms which totally revived my health and got my life back. This launched me into a journey of getting my degree in mycology, which is the study of mushrooms. I launched Mushroom Revival and I launched the most popular mushroom podcast in the world with over 120,000 listeners from all over the globe. I wrote three books in the last three years with one coming soon and launched the biggest and only certified Cordyceps Militaris mushroom farm in this half of the globe. And it couldn't be any more relevant. Fast Company calls it the shroom boom, expected to hit $50 billion in the next few years. And Whole Foods says customers are buzzing. It was the top trend in 2018. And stars such as Kim Kardashian and Gwyneth Paltrow use functional mushrooms on a daily basis. And they've been used by people all throughout the globe for over 5,000 years. So it's not just another quick fad. Now, the functional mushroom market is a $6 billion market, which sits inside the $89 billion supplement market, which sits inside the $651 billion functional food and beverage market. And year by year sales, so certain functional mushrooms increasing up to 811%. And the problem lies in so many mushroom companies not using actual mushrooms. They use something called mycelium on grain, which is the roots of the mushrooms growing on a filler substrate. And because of up to 90% fillers, this is up to 400% weaker in compared to the actual mushrooms. So this is where we come in. We are mavericks about quality. We have the most potent products on the market, hands down. They're super easy to use. You can use them on the go and just drop them straight up or in your favorite drink. And our raving mushroom fans use them from everything from energy to brain function to sleep, relaxation, stress, immune support, and overall health and wellness, which is so vital during these times. We have served over a million servings of fu functional mushrooms to our raving mu mushroom fans. And we're transforming lives doing it. This is Ron Edwards. He was injured during his service and he was in a wheelchair for many years. Within a few months of using our products, he was out of his wheelchair and felt the best that he's felt in his life. So why mushrooms? They're a bit different from big pharma, diets, other supplements, CBD, in which mushrooms are easy. They work on a whole system approach with little to no side effects and they're super affordable. And we're part of a shroom boom. We've been growing 350% each year and we've already matched last year's revenues year to date. And we've been consistently doing 50 to 60K per month in revenue, which sets us right on track to doing 650K in revenue this year during COVID. And we've strategically positioned ourselves to be 95% D2C e-commerce, which is vital during this changing economy. We sell each bottle for $29.95. We have 70% margins, $75 average order size, and 26% repeat customer rate. Our current ventures include partnering with key co-manufacturers to scale our operation and grow, entering key channels such as Amazon Prime, and launching a new innovative product line, which is gonna dominate a white space in the category. In the next six to 12 months, we hope to enter the channels of Sprouts, Whole Foods, Vitamin Shop, and Natural Grocers with a new brand refresh with new sexy packaging. We have a well-rounded board with members from the healthcare industry, from finances, supplements, CBD, and cannabis to make a really well-rounded team. So we're opening around third quarter to help us hire key talent, to help us with marketing, product innovation, and channel expansion. So help us mushroom and start a mushroom revival. And lastly, we have Tomas and Francisco from Chetty's. They have created an absolutely addicting cheese cracker that is also taking away some mom guilt. I'd highly recommend you add it to your next shopping order. How's it going, everybody? My name is Francisco Pergola. And I'm Tomas Pergola. And, and we're, we're the Chetty, Chetty Brothers. 
I'm super grateful for this guy right here. Uh, I'd like to think we make a pretty good team and our success is due to our partnership. Yeah, and alongside that, just having great local community support, always cheering on the little guy against the big dogs and uh, really thank you guys for joining in today. Appreciate hope, having you here. Hope you enjoy the show. Hi, I'm Mark Turner. This is my sixth year of being a mentor here at SKU. I first met Francisco and Tomas Perola when they were applying for SKU back in January, about three and a half months ago. I was really impressed with them when I first met with them because these guys seemed like guys that could be good listeners and good learners. In fact, I liked them so much I asked to be on their mentor team. And the good news is they proved me right. Through three or four months with our mentor team, they proved that they were great listeners. They really took direction from the mentor team overall. They really wanted to learn and focus on which were the topics that were most important to them. And now they're out in the world executing off those strategies and really growing and scaling their businesses. Chetty's is a fantastic product. It's actually disrupting the cheese cracker category because it's made with real cheese. Imagine that. And the best part about Chetty's is it tastes fantastic. So please help me welcome Tomas to help you tell you more about Chetty's and where they're going. Hi. Thank you for tuning in today. My name is Tomas Bergola and I'm the co-founder of Chetty's. Chetty's are a high protein, all natural cheese cracker whose main ingredient is real cheddar cheese. Every bite has a light and crispy texture that fills your mouth with a rich, real cheese taste. And as we started our journey from a small local success story up into a national brand, one thing continued to make our mission clear. It was the fact that every single category in the grocery store had seen major growth and innovation, except for one, the cracker aisle. And so, as hippies did to Cheetos, and Siete did to Doritos, Chetties will do to Cheez-Its. Disruption. And the timing couldn't be better. Of the growing $18 billion salty snack industry, crackers alone hold the dominating $7.7 .7 billion piece of that pie solidifying its role as a staple pantry item in most households. At Chetty's, we feel confident that we bring something new and exciting to the table. You see, the same three players have settled into their role in the category by providing the same bulk, cheap products to consumers for the past 100 years. Because of this, we invite innovation into the space. But unfortunately, all the new, healthier options don't even compete in the cracker category. And so, the issue remains. A large gap exists between today's affordable items and the new, exciting, healthier, but expensive opportunities out there, making it difficult for families to enjoy healthy snacking day in and day out. Introducing Chetties. By using real cheddar cheese as our main ingredient, we created a crunchy snack that's packed in protein with no artificial ingredients, no added processed oils, and lower in calories than our competition. And let me tell you, they taste great. Chetties are a familiar and approachable snack that take the guesswork out of making healthier eating choices. All for the low price of $3.48 a bag. Oh, and did I mention we used half the amount of ingredients and 10 times the amount of real cheese as our competition? I know it blew me away when I found out that cheese crackers have primarily been made up of wheat flour for all these years. With Chetty's, every bite is filled with cheesy goodness that leaves you wanting more. And with four distinct flavors, you're surely going to have a favorite. We've identified our strongest market, and moms, we're looking at you. You are awesome. Moms are always looking out for everyone in the family. And with Chetty's, it's now easier than ever to make healthier eating choices for everyone. Since our launch in August of 2018, you can now find Chetty's in over 700 retail doors across the country, including right here in our own home backyard at 8GB. We're proud to say that in the last 12 months, we've sold nearly half a million dollars, and we're looking to keep this momentum going. Specifically, we plan on doubling down as an HEB Primo pick. In the roughly 40 weeks that we've been on HEB shelves, we've seen unprecedented success through small coupons and fantastic returns while we perform in-store demos all across Texas, resulting in a fantastic 11 bags sold per store per week. Alongside this retail traction, we've seen fantastic results on Amazon and e-commerce where we've garnered over 390 reviews and top rankings amongst Amazon's most searched food terms. It's proven to be the platform of choice to receive customer feedback, test new product promotions, and engage in direct-to-consumer messaging. And let me tell you, our consumers are raving about us. 
Chetty's earned a strong 4.5 star rating. We highly encourage everyone to go and read what people are saying. We aren't shy of our reviews. Moving forward, we plan on doubling down on Texas throughout 2021 and creating a bulletproof expansion template. You see, Texas is an incredibly diverse state and having success here can prove to other regions across the country. In order to do this, we're seeking an investment of $800,000 whose directly funds will go towards margin improvements, trade spend and promotions, and marketing throughout the state. Thank you again for joining me and please feel free to contact me through the email provided. I'd love to get in touch. Can I tell you I feel like a skew mama bear? Such an amazing group of founders, companies, and products. I hope you all made sure to write down those websites so you can support them on their sales forecasts. But before we wrap up this showcase, I want to say a special thanks to our mentors, board, sponsors, WeWork, Michelle, and Alyssa for all that you do. None of this would be possible without the entire ecosystem to make the best CPG accelerator in the country. And I want to thank all of you for watching. I truly appreciate you being part of this year's event, spending your time learning about these fabulous products, their amazing founders, and our humble program. We wish you all the best, stay safe, and look forward to seeing you next year for Track 9.